What is oh light in the darkness, glitchy oh. shine brought to the forest a reverent glow. Ooh! The mushrooms formed a path of sorts. And that's where they could go. That's cool! What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome to my world. And we're here, we're doing things back on Woven. Now, keep in mind, if this is the first video you're watching of this game, this is a pre-alpha demo, so any little things, it's, it, the game is in a, it's not a fully released game yet, so there's gonna be, there's bound to be issues, and, uh, yeah, but we're just in a demo right now, and it is very interesting thus far. So we do save, when we save, we go back exactly where we were, we just ended off here, and if you're not familiar with what we're trying to do at the moment, we need to go over here. There's a little snake guy right down there. We have to match him. So in order to actually match that guy, we have to play around. We have to discover some things in the area in order to do that. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to go up this hill over here. Since we're up here, we might as well. And we got to see what's up the hill. We need, to, we need to discover that pattern. Now, this game is all about solving puzzles by reconfiguring your character. And right now, you see that we look a little bit funky. We're mostly, we're mostly a rabbit. We do have one elephant arm. The elephant arm allows us to push things. And you see all our actions down here. We can push, we can pick up, we can jump, we can run. We can do a lot of different things, but uh, really, that's, that's pretty much what it's about. So we have to find this pattern in order to get next to or, or into the next area. And I'm not exactly sure. Is this the thing? This might be a thing we can pick up, actually. Yeah, look at that. We can pick it up. Pick it up. What are you? You're silky smooth, but that's not the one we need. We need a different one. We need that other pattern in order to get things going. We need the one that's on the snake right now. And I'm not sure where to go to find that. We do need to end up going down here. Now this is a click to move game. I'm using the right mouse button, holding it down to move around. If you happen to be playing this game and trying to get some information about how to play it. So click to move, right mouse button, move camera. We can do a lot of different things. But we have like these moles here, which I can't really do anything with at the moment. Uh, there's a big button. I love the map of this. This map is really, really, really cool. Like everything is made out of like leather and cloth and all kinds of different materials but all of them that would normally be clothing or, or used to create clothing of some kind among other things obviously but you know that's the primary use for most of these things and it's a really neat interesting idea to use those kinds of materials those kinds of textures to create a world and and to to form a, a the theme around those materials like for example we're, we're stitching together our own little stuffed animal that if we do it properly, we can bypass certain obstacles. Like these are the puzzles you have to figure out. I don't know exactly where to go to find what we need, but it is definitely a very cool concept to do so. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around for a little while. I'm gonna see if I can't come up with and find what we need to find in order to get through this this little. You look familiar. Oh, look. Maybe this is a little sign here. This guy right here is the same pattern as that snake. So I wonder if that means in here is going to be the pattern for that. Let's pick this up to see if it's that pattern. It is. So that might that might be your little hint as far as what pattern you know you're going you're about to get out of those little acorn things or whatever they are. That might be your little your little hint as far as what you're going to get. That's cool. I didn't pay attention to the first one. Some of you guys can let me know down in the comments. If the silky smooth is is kind of would it have been obvious following that same trend if uh, if I had paid attention would it have been obvious that we were gonna get that pattern that's pretty cool though it's pretty neat all right so we well, go over here so that way for example the reason that's useful is because if we look at this we have to match him so if we need to reconfigure our character and we need to match him then we can look in the world for something that looks the same pattern and then therefore we can go ahead and move things over you know and we can just look for that in the world rather than having to open every single little thing that we need now granted it's probably good to open them all anyway because then we'll have patterns for the future that we may or may not need but right now i think we're okay oh look here's one too can we even get to that whoa 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 stop hold on stop 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 <laughs> stop did we click the move stop <sighs> okay can i pick up can i get to you Ugh. are you gonna do something can i get to this thing you're going up. 
Okay, so we clicked right on top. Oh, pounce! Oh, I can't do it! Ah, I gotta reconfigure my character. Because there's a reconfigure thing right over here. So, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, right now we have jump enabled because we have bunny legs. So this is a good example of why, why we would reconfigure our character. If we go over into this guy right up here, I think I should be good enough. If we can go over to the glitch and tell him to activate. Now what we can do is not only apply the pattern, but also change our legs out. So first of all, pattern, we want the elephant and we want to get the legs so that we can get the stamp. Now we have stamp, so we can do the stamp. We're not fast anymore, which we do want to change back eventually. Then we'll go back, we'll go to fabrics, and I want specials, snake style, here we go. And we'll put this right here and here. And uh, yeah, and then can I get, can I do like a no? Let's do silky smooth and put silky smooth everywhere else. Cause I think silky smooth is gonna look better in my opinion. I just, I'm, I'm not a big fan. Even though I did apply it to everything in the last episode, I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, anyway. Oh, there we go. Click regular. There we go. Okay, so that that's a little better. It's a little more normal-ish, kind of. Let's give ourselves a red face thing here. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. That doesn't really look real or anything, but it looks interesting. I'm down for that. Let's see if this counts, because we do have that pattern applied. Uh, but before we go back and test ourselves against the snake, we want to go up top and actually uh, stamp on top of this guy. So we go boop. Uh, boop, there we go. That should that should do it. We should be able to get it right up in there. Yeah, now we're super slow now because of that. I did click again, so we're not going to go quite as far. But now we're really slow because we have elephant legs rather than rabbit legs. And naturally, elephants move slower than rabbits. So if we go up here, should right on top. Bloop, and we want to stamp. Boom! We stamped. So now it should have fallen down to the ground. If I click down here, we'll now go down to the ground. And it should be on the ground so we can pick it up and get the next thing, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. I think our rabbit dude, why are you, uh, okay, here and then pick up. Yay, we, oh, we got stripes. Ooh, we should put stripes on our body somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and get back, get the rabbit legs back because I like rabbit legs and you move a lot faster with rabbit legs. So we're definitely gonna get those back. And uh, I do, I, I don't know, I really like how we look right now. It's really cool. I might change the middle area after we pass the snake. Well, I might change the middle area uh, to the stripes because I think the stripes look pretty cool too. It would mix things up like a lot. But before we do that, let's go ahead back to patterns. We'll go to rabbit and get our rabbit legs back. It's a really neat little thing how you do that too. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so we go back and exit machine. I could have done exit machine right away, but you know what I mean. Uh, and we'll go back over here. Let's go see about this snaky snake over here. Do, 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 do. Now, is he going to count this as matching and let us pass through here? This is the question. The snake approved of Stuffy's flare. Yeah! Hissed and retreated into his lair. Bye-bye, snake! Okay, so now we can change. Now we have, we have bested the snake. We have finished that one because we do have his pattern. So we want to keep our eye out for those things. But if we ever miss one, we can just keep our eye out for the pattern in the world, I'm thinking, and that would probably help. Wait, give that back. <gasps> oh, crap, I need to stamp. Look at that, there's the stamp. It's, oh, here's the machine right here, perfect. So I can just go right over here, change over, and I can stamp each one of the holes to force, force these guys out somewhere. That's perfect. Come here, you. We're gonna play, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Whack-a-mole. We're gonna, we're gonna whack a weasel. Whack a... Yeah, some, I don't know, something. What? We're gonna whack something. These legs. So we have to move slow again, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we can walk, jog, or stamp now. We can't jump or anything. I'm good. Exit machine, and we'll go out uh, here. Uh, here. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna go over to this guy. We're gonna stamp. Stamp. Boom. Oh, what? I said stamp. Oh, perfect. Oh, <laughs> he grabbed it. Okay, so I have to be ready for it. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna make it all the way over there. The guy's gonna grab it again, so I have to do it again. I just have to keep stamping. Oh, actually, I know where it's gonna come now. It's gonna be over here, right? This is the next one it's gonna do. So if I stamp, 
Pick it up! No! I did pick up. Dang it. So we'll go over here. Hopefully I'm close enough now. So if we stamp, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up too. Got it! Okay, there we go. There we go. I got the prairie. Perfect! That's wonderful. Alright, cool. So we have that now. Um, do we want to... Oh, okay. We're going to keep going this direction. So do I want to change back over into rabbit legs? Stamp is becoming useful right now, and I don't know if I want to make that a thing or if I want to go ahead and change. I don't like the rabbit legs. You move so much faster with the rabbit legs. Okay, moving on. Now that we have the rabbit legs, hopefully we don't need to change back. Both times that we needed stamp, we, were, we did actually have one of those machines so we could change back over. So it's not too big of a deal. I think you're... Maybe, maybe you're not supposed to... Uh, you know do this, but this it seems logical to switch over to the legs when you have to walk around a lot because you're faster And then they'll give you a machine close by when you have to use some other uh, Technique or some other skill that you don't have with the rabbit legs So that's that's the idea that I'm, I'm running with so hopefully that sticks and hopefully that stays the same So far it's been true, but we'll have to see how it how it lasts But now it looks like we're coming up on a different something something over there. It looks interesting it's like we're crossing over into something else. Are we gonna scan a new animal, or is it? Do we only get the elephant and the rabbit for now? Let's go across the bridge. Stuffy had never uh -oh. been this far, and wanted to go further still. So as go. A glitch. The answer to his origin might as well be over that hill. They would band together and face any obstacle found. By circumstance connected, but now by friendship bound. So we're good? Okay. You just stopped me on the bridge to tell me that. Thanks, I guess. I mean, it's pretty cool. They, they do that at random points just to, just to kind of tell you a little bit. So now they're friends. Now, now we're friends with Glitch, glitch and stuff here. They or... came upon a forest, gloomy. By now, all light had gone. Uh-oh, it's dark. Stuffy was afraid of darkness. So to the mushrooms, he was drawn. To the mushrooms? Stuffy okay. was glad to have Glitch near him being so bright. Which isn't only that there bright? Could be a way to shine a bigger light. Oh. Oh, I'm so dark. Okay, so basically we have the flashlight now and that's sticking to wherever we walk, but we want to stay close to the mushrooms apparently. Apparently that is a thing. Uh I don't see okay. I don't Oh, well, here's a mushroom. Okay. Um, what is, oh, light. In the darkness, glitch oh. shine brought to the forest a reverent glow. Ooh. The mushrooms formed a path of sorts, and that's where they could go. That's cool. Neato, man. So the mushrooms lit up and reacted to the light that glitch gave off. That was pretty neat. That's a cool little thing. I like it. Oh, what are, oh. Oh, so now... We're gonna go way over here. Light. Do the light again. So basically, I guess the mushrooms are like glow in the dark mushrooms, which which makes sense. You know, they're glow in the dark. That's basically what they are. But basically, what that means is that they absorb light from Glitch when he does his super lighting effect thing. And then once we start moving again, is when we uh, he stops doing what he's doing, and we have to keep going. I don't know what's over here, but I really want to I really want to find out what's over this direction. Even though it's probably nothing. Although it could be. This is very narrow. Oh, what are you? You're a thing. Oh, look! We found something! Pick it up! What did we find? We found fashion! Uh, 7 of 27. Wow, this is really dark out here. Okay, light up. This is crazy! So, this is this is a very interesting concept. You see this in, sometimes in certain games where there's like some kind of a, a temporary lighting effect. Some kind of temporary thing that you have to do in order to, to to just light the path for a short period of time and then you have to stop and you have to do it again which is an interesting concept and the way they're doing it is pretty cool i kind of like it it's really it's neat all right so we found what we needed to find there we need to go back to the pink mushrooms pink or purple pink i guess they're pink i guess they're both let's light up the area i think this is the uh what's the direction that we oh we got to go down that way okay that's how the mushrooms are lighting up. That's the order that they're lighting up. So we have to go down in this direction. 
Blue, I want to say, is like a, a secret. It looks like we need to go that way. Like, that's our, the way we're supposed to go. But I want to go up the hill here to see if there's any other secrets that I might be missing. Don't, I'm, that's not where I'm clicking. There we go. That's better. So let's go ahead and give ourselves some more light. Okay. Um, let's go this way. I don't see any over here yet. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Okay, perfect. See, there's a lot of them in the darkness. This is the second one we found that's in the darkness. Eight out of 27. That's pretty cool. All right, give me some more light, buddy. And then we'll go around the corner. And we'll go way over here. And we'll go back down and start following the pink ones again. And then it's going to get dark. So let's go there. Okay, cool. What? There you go. <laughs> The clicking thing was a little off there. Okay, so I, I can I can sort of kind of see, but I like seeing all the light up things here. It's pretty cool. I'm still going in this direction, looks like. I didn't see anything else over there. So, I guess I'm going this way. Up the hill. Ah, here we go. This is why I couldn't see it very well. Let's go all the way up here. And then over here, here's another blue mushroom, which again, like I said, that feel that makes me feel like there's some kind of hidden thing over in this direction. If we go this way, we should find some kind of a secret. So far, that that has held out, and there's been a little uh, piece of cloth or pattern or whatever around here somewhere, or not? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong this time. I'm not sure. This is weird. I can't go that way. I can't, why can't I go up there? Woo! I don't know why I can't go up that way, okay. Oh, here it is. Here we go, I found it. See, it's tricky, because I think, I'm thinking you're, uh, we might end up going over that direction. So you come down here and then you look at it, holy. You, you see it and you're like, oh man, I knew I missed something. So you can kind of see it on your way out and you would have missed it. Anyway, so if we go up here, we go down this way, we can go back to the path and actually see what's going on. Oh man, this is, this is kind of, how do I get out of here? Didn't I come from here? Oh, I did. Okay, here we go. Go over here and go over here and keep going. All right. So now we're back to the split and the pink, I think, leads us this way. I think these are pink. There is a blue one there, but I'm not sure. Actually, that's not, that's a pink one, actually. So let's light, it up. let's light them up so we can actually tell the difference and see the difference. See, those are blue, which says something about a secret, I'm guessing. And then, uh, and so far, that's been accurate. Blue means there's a secret or there's a, there's a hidden pattern or something. Finally. Oh, we made it! They were out of the woods and greeted by morning's breeze. Yay! Morning Sephron breeze! Dawn was upon them, framed by rose-colored trees. Ooh, yeah, here's the new, here, well, uh, technically that was a new area too, but you couldn't really see too well there. Oh, here's, here's a thing. Perfect. So, okay, actually, I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe this one will give us this color or something? Or is that not accurate? Maybe it is. No, it's not. Oh, we got the grass. Okay, here's grass. There, it was on both of them. So there's, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're kind of picking up the patterns of the world, which is pretty interesting. And it's an interesting little thing. Interesting little concept. There's some water there we can go explore. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call it here. So if you did like this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm not sure how long this tutorial is, or the tutorial, this demo is. Uh, it very well could be short. The next episode sh could be really, really short. I don't know. I have no idea, but I am cutting it in the small-ish segments. And that way we're not wasting too much time and we get to see all of the game and you see like every bit of what I do rather than cutting through it all. But uh, yeah, so if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you wanna see more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe. Comment, favorite, share if you like you want to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out, peeps. First and foremost, boom. Second uh, thing, boom. Okay, uh, wait, oh, oh, that bu bugs me. Okay, hold on, hold on, that bugs me. I already told you guys before, I have to, for some reason, I have to have a seared brick underneath this thing, even though it's not required for the actual construction of it, it drives me crazy if it's not, because the rest of these blocks, 
they, it, it doesn't show anything. There's, it's not a big deal. Like, if, if underneath it is a seared brick because you can't see it. But here you can see underneath it, which is kind of a problem.